In the year 2023, life is again gaining speed as we recover from the deep and dark scars of COVID. People have started going to work and the office places which remained empty for almost a whole year are slowly filling up with people. Now, as things are going back to normal and again we are getting busy, we have less and less time for our hobbies. Even though a true hobbyist will always find time for his or her hobby, but for others it may become tough to spend as much time as they used to spend earlier. To cope up with this changing scenario, right now is the perfect time to introduce automation in your fish tank. So let's take a quick look at my pride and joy, this 50 garden planted tank and exactly how I automated most of its major maintenance efforts. Automatic water change system. The first thing which I automated in this planted tank is the water change system. Nowadays there are many clickbait videos advocating not to do water change in your planted tank. My suggestion is please don't fall for those. If you want to skip water change efforts then please check this video. Here I explained how you can very easily automate the water change system and for that you may not need heavy gears or drilling your aquarium. It's absolutely easy and everyone can do this. The second thing I automated in this planted tank is light on off and CO2 injection. I use CASA Wi-Fi plugs and use this mobile app to schedule turning on and off CO2 as well as lights. I turn on the light at 4 pm and turn off at 12 am. I have a CO2 canister with dual gauge regulators with the solenoid which automatically turns on and off one hour before lights are turned on and off. Automating light and CO2 has a huge benefit in this planted tank. This consistent light and CO2 period has benefited my plants as well as overall ecology of my planted tank. I highly recommend using timers in your planted aquariums. The third thing which I automated in this planted tank is feeding. Even though I consider it absolutely optional, but still again it's not a bad investment. Feeding your fish every day at a scheduled time does make them accustomed to their captive life and prepare them better for life in aquarium. The fourth automation which I have is Inward External Temperature Control Unit. It's basically an external unit which controls the temperature of your aquarium by turning on and off your aquarium heater. The main reason for having this equipment is just to avoid accidents. There are numerous stories where the heater thermostat malfunctioned and literally boiled fish and plants in the aquarium. Having an input temperature controller unit prevents such accidents from happening. If you are in this hobby for long term then you must know that the aquarium heaters are not reliable and can malfunction. Many people have lost 
their prized aquatic pets due to such incidents. I can't afford to lose my precious plants and fish. Hence, I added this temperature controller unit. I had been using it for 3 plus years without any hassle. I'll highly recommend it. So far, these are the automation or equipment I use in my planted tank to either safely keep my positions or save effort in maintaining them. I hope this video enlightened you about the automation effort you can consider for your aquarium. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.